Good morning, everybody. It's Javier, and I'm super excited to be with you here today to share with you a few uh, things that can help you elevate your overall success, uh, especially what starts with leads. I mean, our business, as uh, your business, all of our businesses, it either lives or dies based on the number of leads we are able to generate. That's that's the case for most businesses. So that's why I have never, ever, nor will I ever worry myself about where rates are. Are they going up? Are they going down? I want to know what the trends are, just so I know what the mindset of the consumer is out there. But outside of that, I don't overconcern myself with, as how we sometimes refer to it, the sausage making of the business. I let Rhett or other two professionals handle that. And I like to keep my focus on generating business and generating new people. We actually have a few people here today. They just came on board with us this past week. And one of the things that I told them right out of the gate was that, listen, I almost want to tell you not to come on board unless you understand that you're going to have to be on your toes as it relates to marketing. Because if you're coming in for the mega, mega low hanging fruit of low, low, super low rates, you're a little late for that party. If all you're going to do is wait for six months to go by to refi somebody against, uh, you're late for that party. And so even though rates are from a historical perspective, still low, uh, a lot of the stuff that a lot of people were living off is gone. So that means you're going to have to go back to the basics of marketing 101. I'm not going to get into uh, a lot of the challenges, if you would, right now, because as far as I'm concerned, mortgages are originated and funded when rates are high and mortgages are originated and funded when rates are low. The difference is by who. And we are going into that ty- uh, part of the uh season, if you would, because it's all cyclical. We're about to enter a cycle where those that are doing the best are the ones that have a client base or know how to get their clients going as well. And so for one of the things that I will tell you just real quick, it's going to be just my face most of the time, revolves around incentives. I've made a living of incentives because the question is always, why why should somebody choose you over, let's just say, uh, uh, you know, Quicken? Or why should they choose you? I mean, I was watching the news earlier today and Ella, I, I, that's the name of the girl. I don't know, you know, the robot that comes out of uh, the name of the mortgage company in Telenome. That's what it is. In I mean, they just keep blasting, 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 blasting. And God forbid somebody really does want to refinance and they type in uh, today's rates or they type in refi. All they're going to get blasted now on social media with our ads about that. And they're going to do a lot more of it than you and I do combined. So what I'm getting at is that question you will always, always have to answer in your mind is why you over anybody else? And I'm not going to ask you those questions right now like we usually do. And I usually get a heart attack. But I just want you to, to ask yourself that question. Why you? And so one of the things that will always win, in my opinion, is that the two key things that you have to understand that choose people where they go, you're not the only one that can you know, sell a home. You're not the only one that can refi. And to be honest with you, there's probably people out there with better rates than you. That's just the way it is. And if you're going to tell me why somebody should list their home with you, uh, more than likely, I can guarantee you, there's probably somebody out there that with even more experience uh, and they do it better. The two key things that people look for when they want to do business with somebody, I've mentioned them before, what, even if I haven't, I know I have, but I'm asking you, uh, what are the two key things you think determine who people do business with? What are they? Trust and service. What is it? Okay. Trust and Trust service. And service. Okay. That's that, very true. Those are very, very true. Uh, there's two specific ones. You got one of them, but what, what is the one that I always talk about, which is true, but you're saying is 100% true. What else? But that, that, that holds true. Can we say no trust and right? Yes. There's really the one that I talk about. They go with who they trust and who they like. Because of the simple fact that there are times where they trust somebody, I know that you are a licensed professional, uh, so on and so on, but in many cases, they just don't trust us. That's just the way it is. But if you have those two things where they trust you and they like you, what's really nice about it is that if you look at from one perspective, that can take years to establish that. But at the same time, the best thing I learned about this firsthand is that one gesture can accelerate that incredibly. I hope that makes sense to you. And so again, it's not about you know what people can do for you, but what you what you can and what you are actively doing for them as a loan officer, even as a realtor. I'm gonna use them interchange both of them because they're the same thing. What are you doing for people, or what are you leading with that would make people want to know more about you? My philosophy has philosophy has always been what lead by giving. Get in the habit of 
giving, and you will very quickly get in the habit of receiving. Uh, and I'll share one story with you. I went not too long ago to uh, death in the family. Um, you know, this person, I don't want to be too specific, passed away on a Sunday uh, three weeks ago. I, you know, called my mom to ask for more details, told me, yep, she passed away. And so anyways, to make a long story longer, um, I asked my mom, are they doing anything like for a fundraiser or something? And the answer was, nope, I don't think so. Did you, and I said, did you give anything? She's like, no, not really, didn't ask for anything. So, okay, great. I call my brother, say, hey, uh, you know, did, did you go ahead and uh, donate something? And he's like, no, they didn't donate anything. They didn't ask for anything. Okay, cool. So I showed up to pay my respects as the death had literally just happened. Um, and when I was there, I just simply went ahead and uh, told this one individual, the son of the deceased, say, hey, you know what, I uh, just wanted to, you know, tell you that I'm sorry for your loss, my condolences, the whole nine yards. And so I was leaving and I just simply went ahead and put a couple hundred bucks that I had in my hand. I just put it in his palm. I didn't want anybody to really see it. And I said, hey, here, here you go, just to help out with anything, you know, food, you know, I, I mean, order pizzas for everybody that's showing up or something. So, I mean, one less thing to worry about. And he was really like taken aback and just simply said, oh, well, thank you. You saw what it was. He's like, thank you very much. And so that's it. So I started to walk out and he called me up and said, hey, can, can you come? I want to talk to you. So I'm like, in private. So I'm like, sure. So I went in to talk to him in private. He's like, hey, I really appreciate what you're doing. I mean, I, you know, I go, no, no, don't worry. I just, I'm, I know what it's like. And even if it's just covers the cost of food for a couple of days for people that are going to be showing up because they are going to be showing up. So I get it. But he goes, well, let me ask you a question. Uh, uh, I'm thinking about selling my home. And I was like, oh, okay. Well, yeah. Uh, uh, he goes, uh, I actually spoke to a few realtors already who are offering to do it for very, very low fees and, uh, you know, for only $1,000, you know, whatever. Oh, okay. I, I, I was like, okay, good. Okay, well, cool. He goes, but I think I'd rather give it to you. You know, and I was like, well, you don't have to. I mean, if you already spoke to somebody and you're signed or he goes, no, 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 I haven't signed anything. Uh, just exploring it. And so I go, look, I, I, this is not the time for it, man. I'm not here for that. Uh, but I, I will tell you what, I can come back if you want to, but I really don't want to talk about this right now because what's going on. No, don't worry about it. So anyways, um, I made the, uh, so I went back to talk to him and I told him point blank, look, if you're looking for a, a discount type of deal, I mean, I, we can do it competitively, but no, I'm not your thousand dollars, one or two point. I mean, I'm not going to, we don't do that because we do it right. But uh, I, I'm not even asking you for the business. And so he's like, no, but I'd rather give it to you. You're doing something for me. And you did something for me that I'd rather, no, it's like, well, it wasn't intended for that, man. I didn't know you were going to sell. So uh, I explained to him, look, we can do it for this much, but we're not this. So I can't do it for anything less than that. He's like, okay, so I, you know, not the real estate expert. I'll be the first to tell you. So I know, hope, uh, thankfully, I do know one, which is Rhett. He came with me. Uh, we went there Thursday night, um, you know, agreed on everything. Friday morning, I left for Israel. I came back the following Saturday night or the Saturday morning. I'm away from the airport, stopped by his house, um, you know, see how everything was going. He was really happy, super happy with Rhett. We went back that Sunday and, you know, presented the offers. He accepted the best offer and that was it. And so the point that I'm making is that, you know, that's going to generate not just the listing, of course, but we're also going to be doing his loan for the new home he's purchasing. Plus, we're going to represent him as the buyer's agent on that. And it all started from something that most people probably wouldn't have done, if you would, especially when it's not being requested. And so what I try to teach everybody, my kids, uh, people that I mentor, is that you're a fool if you're going to wait for somebody to ask because people have this thing called dignity. And when dealing with people, you always want to make sure you keep their dignity in, in place. Uh, and so therefore, I want to thank Public City Rhett for his help, because I'm telling you right now, I'm no Rhett. I can you know, help you with marketing and generating business all day long. But as far as the closing it, I don't know and I don't care because I know if I catch something good, Rhett will help me. And he did. And so I wanted to publicly thank him for all his expertise. Uh, the client is super happy. We're going to be getting referrals from him already. I uh, met with him the other day. He has somebody already. And so the point that I'm making, it all started with the gesture and a gesture that wasn't asked for. And so that's why I really want to emphasize to you that you're going to have to step up 
your game of leading by giving when it comes to people. And it could be something extremely simple. It could be something extremely cheap. And that day, the reason I gave him cash, I wasn't trying to insult him. I just literally found out about it. Marcellus, my wife, was like, I'm coming with you. And we went straight there. Otherwise, I would have probably swung by a store. I brought him flowers. But otherwise, I would have brought food, you know, all kinds of stuff, because I know what it's like. When somebody passed, people are going to be coming in all day long. And some stay, some don't. I was leaving right away. I was there for 10 minutes. But I would have brought food. You know, I would have swung by and gotten some chicken dinner or something. I'm just, I know what it's like. We don't have to be told. We don't have to be told what needs to be done. We know. And we should know. And so that's what I'm saying, that for you as a loan officer, for you as a realtor or as anything, you need to anticipate what people need. And people need attention. They love respect. They, and so on. And so I'm saying that, that you have to go back to human uh, studies 101 and put more emphasis on that versus credentials. When somebody says, oh, yeah, I'm certified this and I'm certified that and I'm certified. Well, I certified don't care because I can tell you right now that I don't care how many letters are after your name. It doesn't mean a damn thing to most people until they know that you're a decent human being. And that's just the way it is. And so for me, that's why I always say that most realtors cannot get a listing to save their life because they keep searching for a listing. They keep looking for a listing. Stop looking for a listing and stop looking for something decent to do for people and the listings will come. If you're a loan officer, the same thing. Stop just going out there hunting for the loan itself and start being just a decent human being. And so what I wanted to do is just mention two things because I got off another webinar. But for those that were on that webinar, I'm going to pick up where I left off over there. And so that's what I wanted to share with you, how there are simple things you can do for people. I'll give you an example of one. So bear with me as I fire up my cell phone. And what I'm going to talk to you about is I'm going to go ahead and share with you. Let me just close some of these tabs because I have a billion of these things going on. Here's what I want to show you. There's something, and I don't know if anybody here, and I, I know you can't see it right now, and that's okay. Let's see. I don't know if anybody here remembers this because they went digital. They went digital years ago, and they used to be, and they still have it. If, by the way, you can still get your hands on this. So let me just show you this. Maps, 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 where the hell are our images? Oh, here we go. All right. And so what you see here, they still have this one. And I'm just going to share with you this right here. Hold on. I know you can't see it, so bear with me. And so what I'm going to share with you is going to be, where the hell did it go? Well, let's have to photos. This is here. Can anybody tell me, can you see where it says Entertainment 2012 by any chance? Anybody? Yeah. Okay. Entertainment 2012. They, they do this every year, by the way. Has anybody, just out of curiosity, has anybody ever seen these books? They're coupon books. Has anybody ever seen them? Usually they sell them as fundraisers for $30. And they have a ton of two for one, 50% off coupons, Little Caesars, restaurants. Has anybody ever seen them? I used to buy them back in sure, the day. Yeah. yeah, I mean, they're everywhere. They, they just look just like well, the ones you see here. They're just like this. They, you know, like McDonald's, Subway's, they have fancy restaurants, they have everything. So, anyways, this company is called Entertainment. And they made, I want to say billions, but I'm pretty sure it's over a billion dollars in nothing but fundraising and entertainment driven uh, sales. And so what these books do, they started to go digital with a digital version called Dining Advantage by Entertainment. Because the entertainment book not only had food, but it had stuff, oil change, this, that. They actually went digital. And so what I'm going to share with you is what that looks like today. And let me go ahead and fire it up so you understand what I'm talking about right now. So I don't have my... I usually have my monitor on the side on. I don't have it on. Uh, so you'll have to bear with me and let me know if you are, are actually able to see this. So bear with me. Now, can you see on the screen? Okay, great. I was just doing it earlier. Now it's not going to let me do it anymore. I was literally. So let me, I think I know what the problem is. Huh? So here's what I'm going to try to do. Um, there you go. That's what it is. Okay, I figured it out. Okay, so. Can you guys see where it says screen mirroring or something like that? No, we just see you. Oh, okay. So let me just go back over here. Well, that's what the problem is. Hold on. 
All right, so let me just stop this. Oh, sorry, I'm not going to be able to do it because it's, it's just acting up okay. And so what I want to show you is, let me see if it'll even go. It's not going to... It's not going to work, but I'll show it to you online in just one second. And so what I wanted to do, right, and I really wanted to show it to you on the app. I really wanted to show you on the app because we have an app. Well, here, I'll just show it to you this way. Hold on, please. And so what I'm going to show you, I'm going to go back online to my browser. And what I'm going to share with you is the website. This is the actual website. It's the exact same thing, except it's on an app now, or you can go to the website, as you can see here. You don't have to do uh, just one or just the other. And so what this does is, let me go uh, come in here, and let's just say I'm going to type in uh, closest to me. These are just a few. Juice it up. You click on view offers. When you click on the offers, it'll show you what the offer is there. So here, enjoy one free smoothie, one of the second smoothie of equal or greater values purchased. Pretty cool. You show them your phone, you hold it up to the screen. I'm sorry, you hold it up to the uh, cashier and you get one for free. Like I told you, most of the stuff is two for one, which is simply incredible. Uh, let's just say you go out to a restaurant. I don't know. This is Bombay Restaurant here in Ontario. Let's see what their offer is. Six, 20% uh, off the total bill, maximum of 25 bucks. 25% off the total bill. Oh, this is 25 off. Okay, this is 25% off the total bill. But I mean, that's what I'm saying. This stuff will cut your meal or your bill by half anywhere you go. Um, and again, some of it is super you know, cheap. Uh, some of it, whatever. So here is an Italian restaurant I actually like to go to. It's really good. 25% off the total bill. Then after you use that one, 10% off the total bill. So how does this work? But here's what I want to share with you. Uh, so, you know, blah, blah, blah. You can see all this crap. Uh, I'm not going to spend too much time on it. I just wanted to give you an example of one more. And then we'll just go ahead. And, oh, this is really good. But crepes, um, a Mediterranean grill. Click on view offer. And just so you know, so enjoy one lunch for or dinner free when you buy another one. So it's perfect, perfect. When you go with somebody, it's two for one. And it just simply goes on and on and on. This was just so you guys know. Uh, this right here was the original Groupon back in the day, basically what it is. So these restaurants are banking on you going in there two for one. You like it, you come back. Most people don't. I mean, they just go for the deals and they go to another damn restaurant. So what I'm saying is that there are different ways for you to drive value with people. And one of them is by doing this. Now, most of you have heard me speak about the actual, uh, what do you call it? You, you've heard me mention a million times about the marketing boost, which are the certificates, which is true. It's a, I mean, don't tell me you're an MLO. Don't tell me you're in, actually expect any kind of success if you don't have a marketing boost account. You, you're just missing the whole point. And that is the biggest problem you're going to have. However, what I want to show you is, now, can you still see my browser, Stephen? Yes. Okay. So what I'm going to show you right now, I'm going to marketing boost. And so before I go any further, here's what I want to share with everybody. Uh, w, w, w dot. Marketing certificates. Okay. So first of all, I sent everybody the link to sign up for what I'm going to share with you here for free. Now, what this does, it allows you when you click on the free start free trial, that's what you're going to do. Start free trial. You're going to come in here from the link that I sent you. And you're going to be able to log in here and make sure you get the monthly or whatever monthly gold. Do not get platinum. Get the gold for only 37 bucks. They cut this in half during the pandemic. But now that the pandemic is over, they're going to raise it again. So my recommendation to you is to go ahead and sign up for it. And it's even cheaper if you do annual. Now, the first thing you can do, which I'm not going to get too much into it because you've heard me talk about a million times about this, is this right here, which are the vacation incentives. You can give vacations away, which is pretty, pretty cool. Uh, an, ex an example of that, which is what I'm going to actually pull up right now. An example of that is going to be, let's just say the church campaign. I'm not going to show it to you. I just want to show you the one slide that's pretty cool that a lot of people really, really like. So let me just go in, go in here. Let me see if it pops it open. There it is. And so we have this for Radium Mortgage Bank. We show how to raise money for church uh, for churches, blah, 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 blah. Well, I'm going a little too fast for the system. And then it talks about, you know, we raise money. We do the presentation on how, why home ownership matters, which will help you get buyers, sellers, and people that want to refinance. And then, but what I'm saying is that 
you know, they, they just come in here, people make a donation, the donation goes directly to the church. Destinations include Orlando, Cancun, Las Vegas, Puerto Vallarta, and Jerusalem. So it's pretty powerful when you can go ahead and do that. I was actually there recording videos at the, that's the river, uh, the Jordan River right behind me. People getting baptized, that's the Western Wall uh, in Old Jerusalem. It was just an incredible experience. I'm telling you right now, you are going to blow up. As a matter of fact, correct me if I'm wrong, Stephen, uh, I think Alan told me you're going to be at the church presentation in LA tomorrow? Yes. Okay. Uh, now, how are you guys doing it? Are you interjecting the real, how are you doing it? So it's a Spanish church in LA. Uh, Alan's going to do the financial presentation. Um, and then, you know, I'm there as well for mortgages and, and refi stuff as well for both the insurance as well. So then Got it. we do Got that. It. And then, like I was saying, I'm going to automate my certificates as well yes. for your guy. That's what you want. That's going to be in LA. So I'm telling you, it's the best thing ever, especially when you get the hang of it. Once you get the hang of it, how many people do you know, pastors and so on, that would like to do this for their churches and raise $2,000 in 20 minutes? Everybody, everybody. So having said that, you guys know the power of the trips. When you sign up for the marketing boost that I was telling you about, which is here by opening up your free account, not only are you able to give away as many vacation certificates as you want, which is incredibly cool, uh, and you can automate it. That's what Stephen's talking about. If you go to my vacation, that VIP, you'll see my chatbot there. Uh, and I'll just talk, if you want to see what I'm talking about, www.my.vip. So if you do that, I just typed it into the chat. You can, uh, the chat, you can click on it. And my robot will start to have the conversation. Now, the second thing you can do at no additional cost, same, same price. And, and the, why is automation so important? Because uh, now who can tell me why automation is so important? Anybody? Well, it saves a tremendous amount of time and you having to put the time and effort doing these things individually. Okay, there, there's the first part of the answer. I'm looking for the second part, which is good. You're right, 100% right. What's the second part? I'll just rephrase it a little bit, Stephen, with your permission. And that is, it will free you up from doing all the manual tasks that keep you from focusing on what you should focus on. What should you focus on? Anybody? Leads. Marketing. Marketing will always lead to the leads. And so, therefore, you know, how many churches did you talk to? I mean, how many? And this is a question. Now, this is a stupid question. Uh, for all of you, and I would really appreciate it if I'm going to unmute everybody um, in just one second, but or just unmute yourself by a show of hands, type it in. How many people here think in this coming week you could talk to a church that could use more money? Anybody? Absolutely. I mean, where's one person? Yes. Two, three, four, five, seven, 7, two thumbs up, that's seven. Yeah. I mean, that's it. Because if the other people cannot think of it, you need to get out of the business. I'm telling you right now, because too many times we on purpose get in our own way. We on purpose delay our success by not doing what needs to be done. So I'm not saying that you have to be a, a you know righteous person, a perfect person, a, a very religious person. I, I go and I talk to and I've done presentations literally at mosques. I've done them in... Uh, you know, I've been to churches, you know, I've dealt with priests, I've dealt with pastors, I've dealt with rabbis, I actually have one that I'm uh, dealing, we have three coming uh, in the next couple of weeks here for our Jewish uh, group in the city of uh, San Bernardino. It's a, it's a different type of uh, sect, but the point of it is, is that we hit it off because I just came from Israel, of course. And so the point that I'm making is that, why didn't you talk to anybody this past week? Now, I don't know, you, only you know the answer. Uh, and so the point that I'm saying is that that has to be part of your marketing uh, approach. So again, automation, because I, I can easily tell you, I got to spend the next couple of hours cleaning up this video to post it on our YouTube channel. And I do, but that doesn't mean a damn thing. I still need to produce. I still need to, and that's not an income producing activity, just so you know. So don't confuse one with the other. And don't be that one person who conveniently is too busy every week of the year. And we got a lot of those running around. So what I'm saying is that you're going to have to stay on top of yourself to make sure you don't fall into the trap that, unfortunately, so many people fall into on purpose. Uh, let's just be grownups. So the second thing that I want to share, so but vacation certificate, okay, so you have a million coming. Now, let me talk to you about how many people here think, 
How many people here think that you can have a conversation? Now, this is what we call a dining guru, which is really dining advantage. The one I was showing you, uh, let me go back over here. This is the website. People are going to actually be able to log in. Now, don't log in. I always tell them, use your app. It's, on, it's with you all the time. Your phone is with you all the time. Uh, and I just showed you a couple of the incredible deals. I mean, so here's a question that I have. How many people here could, do you think, how many people here can actually go ahead and contact existing clients, past clients, people on your contact list and say, uh, Stephen, this is Javier. How are you, sir? Great, thanks. How are you doing? Good, good, good. Listen, Stephen, I was calling you because I was just thinking about you. Uh, what I wanted to do is I wanted to just reach out to you to touch base. I know that I haven't reached out to you lately, and I apologize for that. But I wanted to just reach out to you to see if I can gift you what's called a Dining Advantage membership. Basically, it's a discount that gives you a bunch of two-for-one meals at fast food and fancy restaurants and everything in between in your part of town. So, you know, I really respect you, Stephen. I just wanted to say thank you for all you've done to help me move my business forward on the mortgage side. And with your permission, I'd like to just send you an email so you can go ahead and redeem it. Uh, there's only a $7.95 activation fee, uh, and it'll give you $100 worth of discounts. And I just wanted to say thank you. Can I send it to you? Absolutely. Thank you. Thank you. And like I said, if you have any questions, call me. I'll walk you through how to how it works. But it's just really a great, great uh, discount source for you to go out there and uh, have a good time. Take you know your loved ones and enjoy it. All right. Thank you. I appreciate you thinking of me. Yeah. Think of me. That's it. That's it. Just the thought, guys. I just showed you how I just you know well I didn't do it. Brett did all the work. We just closed a, a you know a listing in one week, and I was in Jerusalem by leveraging the power of relationships, meaning where I got the business and who helped me close it. Right. Just like that. And so, how does this work? Here's the way it works. Now. When you issue this to somebody, you have two options. You can either issue them a hundred dollar or a two hundred dollar voucher. Now, what does that mean? That doesn't mean they eat two hundred dollars. I don't know why it's set up this way, but it's a little complicated. It's basically monopoly money. So I'm going to give you a one hundred dollars in monopoly money. So when you go into a discount, Chuck E. Cheese, you want to go take your kids, grandkids to Chuck E. Cheese. Uh, you're going to look at the offer. This offer is 15% off any, anything, game card up to three cards, whatever. This one is $15 off any one large regular price pizza. So you might say, I want this one. Three, I want the 15% off. To, to redeem this coupon, you're going to, it's going to cost you $3. It's going to cost you $3, $3 out of your $100 Monopoly money. So it's three Monopoly dollars from your $100 Monopoly money. So that means you still have $97. Does that make sense to anybody? I know it's a little complicated. Yeah, okay. I've sent a handful of these out. They're, people are really appreciative, especially ones with families, kids, things like that. It's yeah. really helpful for them. Yeah, because I mean, what I'm saying is that no matter what you're into, uh, mom would say, well, I don't have any kids or grandkids. I just want something. Okay, well, if you just want something, you can literally come in here and just pick something that, you know, Fits you what whatever it is you want to do fast food or or sit down casual or fast casual whatever whatever it is that people want it's here but I just want you guys to understand again you know crepes okay cool I want to go to crepes I want to come in here one item when a second one of value okay cool so that's buy one get one bogo but that's going to cost me seven dollars from my monopoly hundred dollars so now I have ninety three dollars does that make sense to how we how it's redeemed anybody. Sure. I mean, I'm, okay, I'm just curious. Maybe, okay, I, I just want to make sure. Is anybody wondering what the hell I'm talking about? Uh, all right. But what I'm saying is that how hard would it be? How hard would it be? If, let's just say you have this to just call somebody and say, hey, look, listen, Stephen, I just wanted to send you a, something just for keeping me in mind for your mortgage business and friends and family as well. It's a dining card that will give you discounts at some of the restaurants around where you already live or maybe even work. Some of them are BOGO. You buy one, you get one for free. And it's, it's really cool. Now, it does cost $7.95 to activate, but it's going to give you literally hundreds and hundreds of dollars of discounts. And it doesn't have a time limit, meaning you don't have exactly one month or 12 months. This goes on until you run out of the, quote, monopoly money as well. So I just wanted to send it. Now, most people won't even activate it, but they will appreciate the fact that you thought of them. Most people will tell me, hey, thanks for thinking of me. I mean, that's it. And your stock just went back up. The problem is we are not reaching back to our people and then our stock goes down when somebody else comes along and some does something nice for them, then they're on top. 
And then you wonder why they gave the mortgage to somebody else because somebody else was more than likely in touch with them and not you. And so what I want to do is I want to go ahead and send you. Now, I don't know if they have an automated version for this, but what I'm going to do is if you want to send me your name and email address, I'll go ahead and send you one of these vouchers. Again, your name and email address in the chat, in one single message in the chat. And you can go ahead and see the power of this for yourself. And so just go ahead and type it in there. And so you can understand it and enjoy it. I mean, just simply go ahead and enjoy it. Uh, and I can go ahead and send this to you. If you're watching the recording of this on YouTube, then no, the offer is gone already. It's just for those that are actually doing it right now that are interested in doing something that will help lead by giving. Uh, in the life insurance business, it's so common. You know, we tell everybody you should be doing an annual review with your clients. Every year you sit down with them, uh, probably about 3% of the people do it. Nobody else does it. 97. And so now what happens is that it, it ends up being a self-fulfilling prophecy of doom when not only did you not meet with them throughout the year or contact them throughout the year, but on their annual review, you skip that. So that means your next hope is in two years. And then by two years, you feel too stupid to go back and say, look, I know it's been three years now, but I just wanted to say hi. And before you know it, before you know it, uh, it's not a good thing. And so that's what I'm saying. Make sure, make sure you go ahead and uh, stay in touch with people and lead by giving. You can give a thousand of these away. It will cost you no more than your $37 a month. You can give a thousand vacation certificates. So every year when I meet with my or, or contact my uh, people, I would tell them, hey, it's, in the, it's that time of the year again. Did you get a chance to use the vacation certificates to Las Vegas? Yes, it was great, man. Thank you. Well, I'm calling you because you are eligible for one up to one a year. And I wanted to see where do you want to go this year? I want to send you somewhere, maybe Cancun, maybe it's a hell of a lot easier conversation to have that you can imagine and your stock continually goes up as well uh, what i'm going to do at this time if no one has any other questions i'm going to go ahead and hand it off to mr uh, red stafford and just say thank you Red, for probably for your help with that one listing uh, it meant a lot in more ways than one and i just wanted to say thank <laughs> you any questions for me before i hand it off to Rhett? because once he's done he's done all right well if not thank you so much everybody Rhett, it's all yours sir thank you good morning everybody thanks javier as always, great information. So not a whole lot of a uh, whole lot I want to share today, except for, um, as you all know, rates have been kind of all over the place. Uh, they're going to continue to be all over the place um, with as long as this uh, Ukraine thing is going on. Um, the only good news about that is uh, it actually may um, has actually helped us a few days and, and could help us in the future as far as uh, lowering interest rates. Um, and uh, I can't really call that a positive thing because I don't think there's anything positive about what's going on over there. But um, it's important for you to understand how this, uh, how the market is changing right now and how quickly it's changing. Um, we've had a few days that... Uh, We've had we've had some good days, but mostly um, uh, whenever it's uh, very active, it's it's active in the negative way. And uh, we've had a couple of days. Uh, we had one day this last week. We lost. Uh, uh, it must have been three quarters of a point uh, in pricing in one day. Uh, I'd never seen the market jump that as far as it did that day. I think it was ninety one points. The bond market went down. Um, and to kind of give you, an, uh, if you don't understand how this work as mortgage backed security, as the, as the bonds go down, rates go up. If the bond price goes up, then rates come down. So we're always looking for bond prices to go up so that we have better interest rates. What this means is it's very, very important when you're originating the, your loans, uh, if you are, um, uh, if, if the, your, your marketing and it's today's rate, and this is what you're quoting, uh, and the trend is up, which right now the trend is up, even though we have the Ukrainian situation, the trend is up. What you might want to think about is locking very, very soon in the process. Now we can lock uh, as soon as, technically, as soon as um, the borrower completes and signs the initial disclosures. So as soon as they do that, technically you can lock. Now remember, the lock is only good for 25 days. 
So if you don't have everything in, uh, if you haven't done a pre-approval already um, and we're ready to go, um, you may wind up not meeting your lock and having to pay for an extension. But even paying for an extension is probably going to be better than having that interest rate go up because an extension might cost you a quarter of a point for an extra 10 days. Whereas if you don't lock it right up front, right early on, that interest rate might go up a quarter of a point in interest, not cost, in interest rate, at which point, if it's a refi, it may not make any sense anymore. So as Javier said, we're, we're not seeing as much refis anymore. Uh, right now, and at least we're seeing more purchases than refis. Um, however, there's still a lot of business out there. We are still getting refis, but right now what we're getting are cash out refis. People are always going to need cash. They're always going to want uh, to try and um, uh, either pay off their debt or they're going to be looking to expand their home, um, uh, remodel, whatever the case may be. So um, you're going to, you'll always find people that are willing to pay the the, the higher interest rate. Because remember, I mean, right now we're at, we're in the mid fours, which is still great. Uh, I did a uh, quote yesterday, I think on a cash out at 4.125. Um, but that's still, technically it's still a low rate if you think about uh, over the past 20 years. So um, although, sorry, although um, uh, it's higher than it was two months ago when it was three and a quarter, um, it's still a good rate. Now, if you haven't looked at this already, I'm going to share my screen. Javier, can you uh, give me uh, sharing? I'm doing it right now. Right. Oh, oh. So um, one of the ways that I track this is a program called Rate Alert. And you can get this on your phone. And it gives you notifications. Uh, in fact, it drives Rosa crazy because it actually tells me. It doesn't matter what I'm doing. My phone just starts talking to me and, and telling me what the, uh, the bond market's doing. It gives me um, typically three or four um, uh, notices a day, depending um, on what's going on. So I'm going to show you here. Um, okay, so this is kind of what it looks like. This first screen right here. Uh, this is what it looks like on your phone, okay? I can't show you my phone because for some reason my screen mirroring is not working either, but this is what it looks like on your phone. And every day you can go in at any time and you can see what's going up. Now, this would be a good day. This would be plus 25 points, which you can see down here, um, if you can see that, you, it's a quarter of a point in feet. So um, if... It, market rate went up a quarter of a point it's, uh, or 25 basis points, it shows that it would actually come down in fee, meaning your cost by about a quarter of a point. Now to give you kind of an idea of what's been going on. So this was Friday, this was yesterday, 26 points up, okay? Now look at the last 10 days. This is the day I was talking about. This red, is a 90, well, from high to low is actually a hundred point, but from open of 103.28 to a close of 102.43. So 89 points, 80, almost 90 points right here in one day that it dropped. Now you can see over the last 10 days, we've had six good ones, or seven good ones, four or five, six good ones, and three bad ones. We go over the last month, look at this. This is what we've been experiencing over the last 30 days. And this is why things have been so crazy this month and why interest rates have gone up so much. As you can see, we were at 104 a month ago, and now we're at 102.93 almost a point different in bond pricing. Uh, and we've actually seen that's translated in this case to almost a point in interest rate. So um, 
the my suggestion would be is go on to your um, mobile mobile app. You can download this. And, and I apologize, I don't remember what the cost is. Um, but you can um, you can download the app for free. Uh, I'm not sure what all you get for free, but um, when you get in there, um, uh, just put in rate alert and um, you can uh, get the um, immediate um, I know, this is for the issue of so uh, what's going on. Hey, Red, he, Red, just for the uh, just for the mobile app is twenty bucks. What's that? Just for the mobile app for Red Alert is twenty dollars a month. How much is it? Twenty. Okay, good. Thanks. So, um, so for twenty bucks a month, thanks, Michael. Um, you can have this, and I will tell you, it has made me much, 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 much more money than that. It gives me an idea of what the trend is. Uh, I've turned a lot of people on to this uh, because I think it's important to understand what's going on. It's got all kinds of information in there. You can read about what the breaking news is and uh, kind of get, be on top of things. Um, and um, uh, it's good to have some kind of an understanding of what's going on in the market, especially if you're you know, out there you're um, uh, presenting yourself as a professional and you need to have some kind of an understanding. If somebody says, hey, what do you think rates are going to do or what's going on with the rates right now? Why, why are things so crazy? Um, it's good to know, uh, have a little bit more background information um, uh, than just listening to the news, okay? Um, this is, this is um, very comprehensive and it's a very specific to what's going on in the market when you're looking at the news that's on the uh, rate alert program. Uh, we are expecting rates to go up. The trend is up 100% for sure. Um, it's going to, um, uh, we don't know how much the rates are gonna go up, but we know they're going to go up a little bit more. Um, we are expecting a um, rate hike from the Fed. Now, just so we're clear, when the Fed says they're raising interest rates a quarter of a point, that doesn't mean our interest rate goes up a quarter of a point. Um, that's the bank interest rate. That's the, the interest rate that the Fed's going to be loaning to the banks. Um, but it typically will translate into in our interest rates going up, but you can't, it's not a, a point for point. Uh, and what that means is, um, uh, when the Fed raises interest rates, it changes what's going on in the stock market. And when the stock market changes, that's what affects our bond prices, and that's what affects our actual interest rates. So, um, again, we are expecting rates to go up. We don't know how much. Uh, probably will be um, where we were at four and eight yesterday. I, I quoted probably by the end of the month. I wouldn't be surprised if that's 4.3 or 4.5, um, so maybe an eighth to a quarter of a point. Uh, but in um, rate and term refis, that can be the difference of doing the deal or not doing the deal. Um, in a cash out refinance, it may only mean a difference of uh, $30, $40 a month, uh, maybe 50 bucks a month, which um, in a lot of cases, uh, you're, you're going in and you're saving the people um, several hundred dollars a month. And so um, it's just a matter of, uh, you know, do they still qualify and do they still want to move forward? Uh, so saving 500 a month, you're going to save 450 a month. And in most cases, you're going to do that. Um, we're going to see as interest rates continue to climb, and I've been talking about this for uh, a few weeks now, uh, as interest rates continue to climb, we're going to see more and more people um, jumping over to the non-QM. Uh, non-QM uh, is what we, uh, is uh, the term for anything other than agency, anything other than Fannie, Freddie, FHA, VA. Um, so if it's not, if it's alternative type doc, bank statement um, program, uh, that's a non-QM. And um, a lot of those people are, are coming back into the market because they haven't had a uh, ability to um, uh, refinance for a while. But that market now has come back very strong. We have a um, strong non-QM uh, uh, program uh, in, internally 
that is our program. Uh, it's marketed through Unite, which is a wholly owned subsidiary of, of HVAC. And um, uh, we do everything in-house, uh, uh, process, underwrite, fund, the whole works, uh, and service. Uh, we do everything on that program. So um, if uh, I've all that information, all the matrices and everything is in Slack. If you're part of Radiant, you, you are part of Slack um, and you have access to all of that. Um, just go to the non-QM channel and it has all of the matrices uh, matrices in, in that as well as the underwriting guidelines. So um, if you have nothing else to do on a Saturday or a Sunday afternoon, you want to uh, read the underwriting guidelines, uh, uh, be my guest. Um, that's really all I have today, Javier. Um, I don't know if you have anything else. Anybody have any questions? No. All right, Javier, back to you. Cool. Okay. Uh, so what I wanted to do, okay, I'll send you the one. Uh, I'm getting the message from Stephen, and that's the one that Red has. In the, uh, no, yeah, the, the, the one that we have, in, the one that I have, Stephen, that's the latest one. Okay. Thanks, Stephen. Okay, yeah, because the one Red has is out of compliance, so he's going to get in trouble. But anyways, uh, I'll send you the one to the right logo. But yeah, just real quick, I just want to also emphasize what Red's saying. Uh, there's no reason to slow down. But I will tell you this, that there's, if there's ever been a time to diversify your you know your sources of income and leads, it would be right now. I'm not going to get into the whole solar thing, but I do want to just congratulate. Uh, we were, we've been doing our weekly meetings, and we stopped and they shouldn't, but we stopped doing the good news portion is how many people we have here that are actually installing and making money while increasing their base of people that make, because we're dealing with homeowners. That's one of the keys to understanding the power behind that. So anyways, if you want to know more, let me know, but we're not really bringing on board any more people right now because we want to get everybody settled in and making money. That's the number one thing. At the end of the day, I don't care where the hell the money comes from, to be honest with you, as long as I'm doing a good thing for my clients, and that is good to go. I sent the uh, discount cards to everybody that requested one, so there's nothing going to be processed as of right now. So if you did request it already, and you gave the information that was requested, and you don't have it, let me know. Otherwise than that, don't call me or don't text me saying, hey, I didn't get a chance to input it. Uh, there's no more. It's a done deal. If you are watching a recording of this video, uh, the offer is not being extended to you, so don't request it. Uh, it was just a one-time thing. And I'm telling you, there's no better time than right now to go out there and re-engage, if you would, with your uh, prospects, past clients, and so on. And as always, lead by giving. If you get in the habit of lead by giving, you will also be in the habit of always, always receiving as well. Any questions before I wrap it up? Questions, comments, concerns? Going um, once? I have a question. Go ahead. This is Angie. So I'm signing up again, let's say again, for uh, marketingboost.com. So the yeah. link that you sent me, that would take pretty much is the one that uh, will give you the credit. Let's put it that way. Yes. Yeah, so once my affiliate link is marketingcertificates.com. Marketing certificates. And I'm typing it in again. Certificates. And you can do the both the hotel cards. You will be able to do the uh, certificates for the uh, you know, restaurant. And then you can also do the uh, you know, vacation certificates on top of that, of course. And so I went ahead and just sent it to Oh, I sent it to just one person. Hold on. And it's important to go to the right website because I, a lot of the time I just send stuff to people that are on my uh, downline list and a lot of other people don't get it. And I was telling them, if you're not on my list, I'm not going to go look for everybody individually. I can't. So click on the link that I just sent to everybody. It's a seven-day free trial. Get it. Reach out to people. Give away this stuff. And I'm telling you right now, you're going to position yourself to weather the storm. And it's not a bad thing just a different part of the cycle of life, cycle of business. And so uh, just know how to bring more value and how to stay in the forefront of people. So when they do think like my story about uh, a listing, that boom, you come to mind, especially because they know you as a giver versus what most people do, they're a taker. Call me, we have a loan. Call me, call me. I want to make money off of you. you know, it, it gets old and it's a uh, death by a thousand cuts. Don't do that. Bring value into people's lives and you'll be fine as well. All right. Thank you, everybody. I appreciate you. Have a great weekend. Stay healthy. Stay safe. Until next time. Thank you. For all. Oh, go ahead. Go ahead. 
Okay, so uh, when I'm paying, it's asking for a promo a promo code. Do you have one or just? No, it'll be the thirty seven dollars automatically. That's uh, it's already fifty percent of what it was during the pandemic before the pandemic. Awesome. Okay, right. you should be congratulations. Right now, thank you. All right, perfect. Okay. Thank you so much, everybody. Bye bye.